Hey guys, welcome to Southern Utah Dynasty here on Mama's Basement. Today we're previewing the 10th game of year one against the Hawaii Warriors from Southern Utah. Hawaii sees across the board number 109 in points per game, number 114 in total offense, number 113 in rushing offense, and passing offense, they're number 70. Total defense, they're number 96. Rushing defense, number 103. Passing defense, number 77. And they are number 106 in turnover differential. The only place where we are better than Hawaii is at pass defense, where we are number 41 at 166.3 yards per game. And Hawaii has been known to sling the football around in the past, so we'll see if that uh, proves to work out in our favor. We are 1-8 and eight overall. Lost the last game in Athens, Ohio in a, in a pretty much a blizzard. Hawaii, 5-5 five and five bowl record overall. They're in the Mountain West. They won a conference championship back in 2010. And uh, I think that must have been in the whack that they won that conference championship. And they are healthy coming into this game. The Southern Utah schedule so far, as you can see, we dropped our first seven games. Uh, only a couple of them were even competitive at New Mexico State and at Troy. The rest were complete blowouts. Then we came away with our first victory on October 26th at home against Old Dominion. And then the first week in November, we lost at Ohio in the aforementioned blizzard. Hawaii lost at USC, or actually at home against USC on the islands. Uh, they lost at Oregon State, lost at Nevada, lost to Fresno State before beating San Jose, and then subsequently beating UNLV. And since then, they have lost to Colorado State and then lost in Logan 44-16 to Utah State. And uh, they probably just stayed in the state of Utah all week and headed down south to Cedar City to take on us in this game this coming week. Aaron Cantu sits at 999 yards, passing six touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Rayshon Martin, 503 yards on the ground, 55.9 yards per game. Fa'atu Maola, 41.9 yards per game. Killebrew with 62 tackles. Redmond with two interceptions is still our leader in INTs. And James Kowser has four sacks on the year for the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Those are our team leaders statistically for our 1-8 and eight campaign to this point. Akeko Woolsey, 126 of 262, 1,278 yards, seven touchdowns, eight interceptions. Coming off a game where he threw the rock 51 times for 200 yards and a touchdown. Uh, St. Juste, 108 carries, 514 yards. Uh, Torres, 31 catches for 362 yards, a 45.3 yards per game average. Miguel with 29 tackles. And Rodgers with four picks. And Manoa with four sacks. Another look at a Keiko Woolsey, a senior, redshirt senior, 91.8 quarterback rating, seven touchdowns to eight interceptions. He's averaging 159.8 yards per game, only a 48% completion percentage, 32.8 attempts per game. His longest pass this year has been 45 yards. He is a threat to run the football, 248 yards on the ground, only three yards a carry, and 31 yards a game, but we have to watch out for his athleticism. On the ground, Diosami St. Juste. The 5'8 junior, 108 carries for 514 yards, 4.8 yard average, and 64.3 yards per game. He has three touchdowns on the season. His longest carry was 19 yards. And uh, he's also a threat out of the backfield. That's 16 catches on the year, a 9.3 yard per reception average. The receivers, not overwhelming. Marcus Kemp, the senior, is their best receiver. A 91 speed, 80 overall. Ursua, Barker, and Dylan Colley. Other threats out on the outside. Dakota Torres, the tight end, is a 73 overall. Along the offensive line, left tackle uh, Dijon Allen is an 83. I think he's probably their best offensive lineman. Elijah Tupai, uh, Asotu Eli, all these Polynesian names I'm going to have a hard time saying. Uh, Leo Kaloa Matangi, RJ Hollis, the right tackle. On the left end is David Manoa, and he has four sacks and leads the team. Uh, Makani Kima Kalai, 73 overall. Corey Rasmussen, the local from Ua Beach, Hawaii, 77 overall. 
Left outside linebacker Malachi Magjeo, Jelani Tavaya, a 78 overall, the middle linebacker. Russell Williams Jr., another linebacker. He's a 79 overall. Uh, the secondary, you got Jalen Rogers and uh, Jamal Mayo, 77 and 75 overall, respectively. Daniel Lewis, the free safety, uh, 72 overall. And junior, Trayvon Henderson, 75 overall. Speed rating of 87. The kicker is Rigoberto Sanchez, and he's a pretty good kicker. The punter is Alex Trefanovic, the freshman from Honolulu. All right, a quick look at the top 25 for this week. Florida State at number one is 9-0. They take on Wake Forest. Oklahoma is at Baylor. Oklahoma's number two. Baylor's number 19. Houston moves up a spot to number three, and they take on Central Florida this week. Number four is Tennessee, five Ohio State, UCLA is number six, Clemson, Miami, LSU, and Auburn round out the top ten. Texas, Northwestern, Michigan plays Nebraska this week. Penn State is in Minneapolis at Minnesota, Louisville is at UConn. Number 16, North Carolina takes on UVA, Washington is number 17. Iowa, Baylor, and Utah round out the top 20. Boise State's in at number 21. They are off this week. Texas Tech, Florida, Texas A&M, and Florida Atlantic has broken into the top 25 for the first time this year in the BCS standings. All right, up next, it's year one, game 10, from Cedar City, Utah, the Hawaii Warriors and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. <laughs> 